Hi there, this is actually a sequel to the um, tutorial about deformations, the basics. And there's actually a couple of them that I want to focus on. And in this case, I just brought up a capsule. And I'm looking for this one, the FFD, or Free Form Deformation. Now, um, I can plop it underneath the capsule, fit it. You know, I don't like it to be that tight so I'm just pumping it up so that all the vertices are within the cage and what I have to do on forehand is that I can actually move the points of this cage and thereby move the points or the surfaces of the objects that are inside now what I need to do is actually on forehand say for instance this is the kind of makeup that I want to use if you screw this up later on or you change these numbers then the FFD goes haywire and your object is practically mush so don't do that um, let's say now FFDs are uh, basically cages so like a, a wire mesh and they use points no edges just points so um, for instance if I select these points and I drag this out like that you can tell that I'm actually molding my character in a different manner I take these three and I push them inside I can make a rough shape of whatever uh, now if I use the uh, uh, selection tool uh, a little bit more intuitively for instance use the rectangle selection tool and maybe you notice that here I have only select visible elements off. That means that I go through an object when selecting and not just on the side that is visible from the camera view. Now, for instance, I'll take this slice here and go back to my perspective view F1 and just scale this up. And of course, it's not going to go up because there's no... Uh, difference in the Y coordinates you can basically tell that you can do whatever you want and for instance let's take this one and do the foot the same way or the bottom side now this is of course not fixed this is a primitive it's not uh, a polygon mesh yet and this is an FFD object and you can make it invisible but it won't go away and it's not fixed onto this object now in order to do that you have to be real sure that you don't want to use the capsule parameters anymore like uh, for instance uh, slice and because it works on a slice as well of course and um, if you know that for sure then you can actually tap the make editable key now here you see that the FFD disappears but it's still there it's still there underneath and if I click it if I activate it it you can tell what it does now in order to uh, actually fix the FFD to the object I can go to mesh conversion current state to object and what you're seeing here is just a copy with the poly mesh underneath now this is your poly mesh of course but what you can also do when you don't make it editable so I have to actually control Z this sucker uh, right up till here is actually animate these points the way to do that is um, you switch off all these recording channels because you don't need these you don't need to record move scale rotate or parameters you only want to record the point level so the point level animation is set to on and um, basically it takes snapshots of all the points in a certain object so you're actually animating not the capsule but the FFD so if I just uh, I got 75 frames here. I'll, I'll just make a mock-up animation. I'll just press a keyframe here. You see this little blue dot here 
and let's move it up to 25. Uh, let's move these points down, then do something screwy with the top. Also going down, maybe back like this. It doesn't really matter. I'm not doing anything that is supposed to look like something. And I'll do it with 50. I'll go um, select these and just turn them over because it doesn't really matter what you use. I'll turn them over like this. And maybe take part of this and move that back and up. And then take this part and move that up again. And uh, let's make this a keyframe, of course. And way at the end, I'll actually copy one keyframe. This is a pretty sweet deal. Anything that works with the control key, first you have to select it. It becomes orange. Then I click, hold it down, and hold down the control key. And I'll just copy it over to frame 75, if I can manage that, which I didn't. Uh, right there. And basically, I, I got a loop now because frame 0 and frame 75 have the exact same configuration of points. Now, I'll just make this invisible and play it back. And, well, it doesn't look like much. But you sort of catch the idea that this might be a promising thing if you want to make point level animations of morphing objects with an FFD object.